I didn't look at the temperature, but it's windy. I don't like it. It's cool out It's here. not Earth. not good sitting with kitty time. It's yeah. too cold. And the way that wind goes between the house and the garage, that's like a funnel. Yeah, it's not good. I'm not going to last long. He's going to put cardboard in the GMC. I don't like to not give Gray her morning attention, but um, it's pretty cold. She probably wants to go back in the garage and get warm too. I got another package already, either last night or this morning. Because I checked at nine o'clock and brought in paper mail. Yeah, I think that Amazon guy came by this morning. Okay, yeah, if it's Amazon and not postal, I'm sure this morning is the right uh, thing. So it looks like yesterday we got, I'm going to call that just shy of nine tenths of an inch. So I'm going to empty it out so it doesn't accidentally freeze and go set this in the garage because I really don't want to have to replace it. One time with a little water frozen in it and it's cracked and won't hold water anymore. So I'd like to know over the winter about rain, but I'd rather not have my rain gauge cracked. Hey Tux, you're a good boy. Actually, at 1 a.m., him and the orange cat last night were having a fight, and I ran, got out of my warm bed, ran up the hill, broke it up, and Tux had white fluffy hair in his mouth. I don't think the other cat was injured. I think the other cat just has a lot of hair. <laughs> and I don't see those guys up there this morning. Maybe after I go in the house and warm up for just a couple minutes i'll go make sure i'll go walk up there i need to warm up for a second good though. morning good morning it's only been like 10 minutes i'm warmed back up now <laughs> and he's here good morning hi hi buddy hi sweetheart you're 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 in the demilitarized zone you're coming a little closer <laughs> Hi, you weren't causing no trouble at 1 a.m. No, you weren't. I got caught by Tux giving Stripe attention. Come on, buddy. Come all the way back down the hill trying to keep you out of trouble. It's just kind of been one of those mornings today. I um, have been on chat or on the phone with um, four different businesses this morning trying to sort out things. Um, I probably shouldn't have done them all in one day. That would have kept my frustration level down a bit. But I got johnny's grease trip canceled and hopefully within 10 to 11 weeks we'll uh, have the refund for that and that seems to be all of the money so that would be good i'm still hoping he'll be able to travel spring 2022 which would be his senior year you know final months of school so um i'm hopeful on that uh, johnny has started his exam so his lunch time is moved up and he's um focused stressed would be a little strong but focused about getting the exams this week our day to drive downtown for the two in-person exams is actually thursday and friday not wednesday and thursday like i originally thought um don's in there trying to use his new computer um and he was sorting out audio issues and um yeah, I don't know that he got it sorted out, but I did what I could do to help. I got on Google Meet and let him test and that kind of thing. I finally got Johnny's school pictures ordered because we never got any information on how to order them. And of course, when I called those or got on chat with those people this morning, they didn't know anything about my school or my picture day or my son or anything. And then miraculously, um, uh, one of the moms at the school sent me the picture day ID and that helped the person find us. I don't know why everything else was apparently not spelled as expected in the system. Because I was typing, she could see what I was typing. But anyway, I have his picture ordered. So his school frame with all of the school pictures won't be missing his 10th grade picture. So that's good. We're only going to do that one time this year. They really want you to do two school pictures a year now. I don't think that's happening this year. <laughs> of course, never say never, right? And uh, my next butcher box is on the way. I had them move up our bill date and our ship date to avoid potentially them trying to have it delivered like on Christmas Day. Because I didn't want it sitting out there. Although it's winter time now, it's not quite as urgent as in the summer. But I have a tracking number after I chatted with them. And um, I'm supposed to be here Thursday from FedEx. So fingers crossed because I need that to go smooth this time. 
And um, seems like there was something else, but you've heard enough of my morning of dealing with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and keeping Tux and Stripe from not hurting each other. I've been back up the hill a couple of times, re, you know, distracted, redirected Tux's toddler tendencies into something that wasn't hurtful. And um, God, just give me a few hours break. I, you know, I really like Stripe. I do. He's a great cat. He's a great cat. But I knew Tux and is not going to be happy with him around. And um, I'm just working through it the best I can. You know, I haven't um, mentioned my back for a few days. At least I don't think I have. Um, my symptoms are a little less acute, but also more varied than they were. Um, so I have made an appointment to have the cyst aspirated. And that is this coming Monday in the afternoon. Uh, Don con and I conveniently made an appointment to give blood <laughs> a couple hours before this other appointment worked out. So, um yeah, but um, it's really, it's. I need to get it handled. Let's just leave it there. And I'm still trying to avoid signing up for surgery. I can't say for sure that I'm going to be able to avoid that. But um, right now, you know, maybe later in 2021, if we can aspirate it and I can be okay again for a while. And then, um, you know, at some point later, 2021, 2022, if we can put it off when COVID is more hopefully under control, that seems like the prudent thing to do, right? Um, I'm sure I'm not going to sign up to go and have any surgery and then Don not be allowed to come in with me, see me, visit with me or do any of that other stuff unless, you know, it's an emergency. So I'm not going to, you know, voluntarily sign myself up for that. So anyway, I, I should, hopefully I'll be okay until Monday and it won't become uh, more acute again. Yeah. And hopefully that's all it is that's causing these symptoms is just the cyst, which I'm pretty sure it is. So uh, we're going to have a little Tesla fun here this afternoon. More to come in a few minutes because we're slightly behind. Way cool. I'm in very impressed with this Engine X module. Yep. So we helped film for Out of Spec today. All the clips the last few hours will get to Kyle and he'll uh, work his magic on it and hopefully we got what he needed and I yeah. uh, think, think we did. And that was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting us yeah, participate. So, yeah, thank yeah, you guys any, for helping out with the, the filming. Though. Anytime. Yeah, much appreciated. Yeah. Well, I feel like we haven't seen you at all. What were you doing all day? Working. Yeah, I know. Like, I feel like we're not seeing you. Yeah, sorry. Honest, I, I did miss y'all. Um, it's just uh, my project's off to, uh, let's say, a, a bumpy start. Let's just leave it. Well, Don was doing a lot of refinessing with his desk set up in there. Audio, speakers, wow. how to teleconference, the best quality. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll spare you the details, but... Uh, Don was in and out with me and Joe today while we were right. uh, doing the filming for that uh, Nginx um, yeah. module plug-in um, yeah, boost. And yeah. Like that. yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. But you're telling me maybe as of Friday you might be done before Christmas because they're all taken off? Yeah, more or less. Um, that's right. We're uh, that's. I believe that's what we're, based on some conversations that happened today, that um, tomorrow we should uh, going to be at a good stopping point, and then everybody's going to disappear. Uh, I think we're going to a little work for me to do on Thursday, but after that, then there's just going to be like, right. yeah, yawn. I think I might be looking forward to that. I'm used to having you available at all times. Right, I understand. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go drive a shorter drive than last night i'm not going to go up to the by the fuquay high school on the other side of town i'm going to stay on this side but i'm going to go drive a bit and then put ruby in the garage johnny had taekwondo and ruby sitting out in the driveway i gotta move her anyway so i feel the call of the christmas lights yeah and my seat heater right and my audible book yeah uh-oh, we left Ruby outside so long she's got limited regen. It's cold out here. It's 42. 41? 
Yeah, for those of you watching that might not be full-time Tesla fans, <laughs> limited regen just means that um, as I come to a stoplight, stop sign, car in front of me stopped, I will actually have to use the brake more to stop the car versus just lifting my foot off the accelerator and the regen stopping the car. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a, a, the Tesla is protecting the battery pack by not wanting to dump energy in when the pack is cold. And um, it takes driving around a bit. I'm not sure that I'm going to be out driving around enough. Although I am at 152 miles, so I will be um, plugging Ruby into charge when I get home. Yes, Marianne, you are going to remember to plug her in. <laughs> And um, that will heat the pack up a bit. And then maybe sitting in the garage is waffling around 50 degrees. Um, the pack will stay warm enough. So tomorrow when I go to drive, I'll have regen again. But it is winter and there will be a few days where I don't have full regen. Yeah, regenerative braking is good for several reasons. One, it saves wear and tear on your brakes. Um, Teslas should go for a lot longer, I mean a lot, than a standard car using brakes to stop the car all the time because uh, we're just not using the brakes that much. And uh, secondly, it's just uh, you get used to the convenience of not having to move your foot between the accelerator and the brake a lot. You simply let off pressure on the accelerator but your foot stays there um, or maybe not even there if you're in autopilot or traffic or cruise control so we tend to whine a bit when we don't have full regen i'm on neighborhood streets but since i'm doing a lot of stopping and shooting and you know stuff i am uh got the backup camera on which i don't normally do so i can see if somebody comes up behind me I spend a lot of time looking for trees and other figures that are on metal um, forms. Those make for some of the most interesting light art designs, in my opinion. Wow, that sure is pretty. Wish the cars weren't parked there, though. <laughs> 